Buffalo Rose, who just performed their uh, God Willing, which is the first song on the album of their brand new album called The Soil and the Sea, debut album, I believe. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, instead of going through, they're going to introduce themselves with the mic. Starting on the end, Diva of the Day, what's up? Hey, I'm Mac Inglis. I play the Dobro. Uh, and the car, what's a concertina? Concertina is a small accordion like. Well, it's, squeeze instrument. Box. it's a squeeze box, but it's uh, it's diatonic, so it's tuned like a harmonica, and it makes different notes played inside an app when you pull or when you push. So okay, it's, you lost me at a. It's, a, <laughs> it's an Irish <laughs> instrument, is what it is. Thanks. There we go. Short and sweet. Yeah. My turn. I'm Lucy Clavy, and I sing and? the songs. I occasionally play harmonica yeah. when, it's, when it's asked of me. Trabado, yeah. I play the mandolin. And we were going to skip you, but you were. <laughs> but I'm glad we got Jason Raffalak, play the bass. My name is Shane McLaughlin. I play the guitar and sing in the band. Hi, I'm Mariko <laughs> Reed. <laughs> and I sing. Right on. Uh, well, whoever has the mic. Uh, so let's talk about the new album. Uh, it's called The Soil and the Seed. You had a banging up uh, release show. Just, totally well, well, this is timestamp because it's going to take a couple weeks, but uh, a couple weeks ago, how did that go? 
It was banging. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> I think you nailed it right there. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of family there, a lot of friends. It just felt like a real kind of celebration of us and the community. And yeah. Yeah, right on. And um, so the, being the first uh, album, uh, how long have you been a band? Let's just say that. I would say about two years. Um, and though when we formed it was just, why are you all laughing? <laughs> <laughs> when we formed, this is serious, when we formed it was myself and Marco and Lucy and Mac and then uh, later on we added the two people who are not laughing at me. <laughs> Thank you, Bryce and Jason. Um, it's an inside joke from Wade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. Yeah. So I'm in the band but I don't know about the inside jokes. <laughs> so give me a rundown of, and uh, Jason, you might be the most experienced or the longest I've known. Name the bands or releases you've been on in Pittsburgh. Oh, <laughs> like, uh, do we have time? I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, it would, yeah. Take, it would take too long. It would take too long. Okay, but uh, th th this is like a collective, can we say? Yeah. Like, way, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you're you're in bands. You're in Fern and the Bull right now. Yeah. What other bands? Uh, well, I'm I'm kind of a. Uh, I'm, a I'm also just a, a regular freelance musician, so I'm. I play in other studio bands. Studio stuff? Or? Yeah, studio stuff and like play casinos once in a while with other groups. Mm -hmm. uh, but this, I think what's cool about this band is we all had side projects or other projects mm -hmm. before we formed this one. And for a while, this was all our like experiment. This and then, side yeah, mm -hmm. and once it got rolling, we were all like, oh man, maybe we should like focus in a little bit more on this. And now I think we would all cite this as one of our major Absolutely. projects. So. I mean, it's definitely c come up in the last year and a half that I've been aware of you. Yeah. Yeah, because I was like wondering like last year, okay, you played Deutschtown and you played the winery pop-up. It was a nice show. It was a cool little venue, you know? It wasn't bad at all, but I really wasn't aware of who you were, you know? So this year it's like, okay, main stage, let's do this. <laughs> and Lucy, you, got, you have uh, some experience with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, me and Mac were in Memphis Hill. Are in Memphis Hill. Are in Memphis Hill, yeah. yes. Um, it's long and lost. Yeah. <laughs> we don't play as much anymore because we've scattered across the country, um, but we still exist. Um, and we played two years ago two on years the main ago, stage. Yeah, right um, the same day we played a pogo stick festival, actually. Wow. Um, yeah, we did double duty that day. So isn't Memphis Hill reforming for Wilkins? Block oh, party? yeah. We, Wilkins Block Party is actually our uh, festival that we started six years ago. That so you started as Memphis Hill. We started. Oh, okay. as, well, we started it along with a group of friends. It wasn't okay. just the band. Right. Um, but Memphis Hill is the only band that's played every year. Yeah, <laughs> and it's, it's more or less we kind of host the festival, so we do get to back together every year to play Wilkins Block Party, which is which is when April twenty first. It's in. It's oh, in it'll week. already have happened when this comes yeah. out. <laughs> but it'll. It was amazing. It was so good. Let yeah. me tell you, <laughs> we had so it was much mind fun. Lower, yeah. <laughs> Contribute to next year's fundraiser. Yeah, exactly. Too and, bad what and, happened to that horse, though. But no, but <laughs> and it's it's a good block party because it relates really well with Deutschtown, and, and we kind of do different types of the same thing, which is supporting local music, which right is what on. needs to happen. And so we're yeah. really happy to to pair up with you here. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> man. Thanks for coming. But um, what's the future of the band look like? What are we talking? You know, you have one album out, and just keep the, you guys obviously have fun. What are you thinking of? That is a, that's a real We're, real question. Well, we just got back from like a weekend tour with uh, John Finley Hardware Company, and it was awesome. Um, mm -hmm. And we have like a couple other weekend tours scheduled for the summer. Um, and I think we're going to try and like focus on that in the future going forward, just like getting out of Pittsburgh and showing the world our music, mm -hmm. you know? And is that like how, how viable is that? I, mean, I know with you, with Carmen Hart, I mean, you're going hard with touring outside, but it's, that's difficult. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Someone else want to speak to that? Did you did you ever yeah. tour outside? Yes, it's the difficult. City? Yeah, that's gonna be my I mean. answer. <laughs> she should answer this in a second, probably. But yeah, it's like it's uh, it's hard to take lots of time off of whatever you're, we're doing in the city. Like a six piece band is is hard enough it's to like coordinate. Work. But like, yes, you know? like work. Yeah. but that also like we learned this past weekend that it's really productive for us. Like we need to do that because we had a great crowd both nights uh -huh. and. Um, Everyone said we should come back, and I think if it's really easy to start getting stagnant, just as much as we love Pittsburgh, just staying in one city all the time, like I, um, you know. So that's that's what we feel like we need to this summer balance our time between the city and other cities and sort of expand our circle right. of influence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think probably the biggest thing is really kind of building a real presence in the close. I mean, we're like in a great spot to get to 
Ohio, Western New York, mm -hmm. Western New York for live music outside of our own city. That, you know, it's a short drive, I think. I don't drive, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Yeah, what but, is time? <laughs> what is time? <laughs> but, so you just came back from Colorado with a common heart, How did, and you drove. We did. And that must have been grueling, or? Look at my face. Yeah, all right, I know. <laughs> you walked in, and you're like, I'm doing this? Where am I? Yeah, I mean, it's difficult. We're kind of at the spot where we're not quite doing it ourselves, because we do have, um, mm -hmm. um, and we do have, like, our own booking agent, but we do all of our own driving. Yeah. And that is, it's pretty crazy to drive, you know, 26 hours, pile out of this With van. 12 people, how many? We are nine members and a sound nine. guy. Wow. Our van seats 11. Wow. So, yeah, it's, it's tough being a road warrior, I guess, <laughs> for lack of a better term. But, We've all been through it. It's but it's fulfilling, good. it's worth it. It, it is worth you know, it. It'll, yeah. it'll definitely be worth yeah. it. Like Especially, yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> we like it. <laughs> so, uh, so the future, we're talking about touring, concentrating on touring. What about songs? Who writes the songs? Is that you or who, like, how does that come up within the band? Yeah, um, well, I think... Well, no, I know that I write some of the songs, and so does Lucy. Okay. Um, and he gave you a shout out. <laughs> yeah, we and we also we write. write we write yeah. some songs yeah. together, and some are like fully formed when we bring them together, and some are like, yo, I have no idea what's gonna happen here. Help me. Mm -hmm. um, help me, Lucy. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, like, who do you come up with lyrics and the chord progression, and then just bounce it off each other? Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, sure. our processes are, di are yeah. different. <laughs> Shane's panicking. Um, <laughs> yeah. So like Shane will often come to me with like a couple parts to a song and like he'll have the chords and everything written out and he'll will together write like the last verse or like the uh, whatever's missing. Um, the way I tend to do it is like I'll write a full lyric and then like sing it at Shane and be like you something like that and then he starts playing guitar chords and I'm like no 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 not like that <laughs> and then wait do you play? Uh, not well enough. Yeah. <laughs> not well enough. Um, and then sometimes we just like sit down and start writing stuff. It just depends on the song. Mm -hmm. And yeah. everyone else writes their own parts. Yeah. So, yeah. so you have the germ yeah. of the song and then everybody so, ships in their yeah. own. So, so after they come to us with a song, they come up, we're at practice and like, oh, we got a new song. And all of us lean in and we're like, huh? really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we hear it, we listen to it, we, we play it a few times. We usually record it on our cell phones because that's what we do in the modern age. Yeah. And then we go home and we kind of write stuff and we come back to the next practice. and play it until it's a real song and it usually takes somewhere between a few weeks to a year for a song to go from like where it started to kind of its more final form right which they're constantly changing every time we play them really like yeah. the, the oh, songs yeah. will yeah. morph into so I was saying this to my mom when I was describing our album but our album is a snapshot of the music that we've done it's it's it, when it, all those songs were written they sounded a little bit different uh -huh. even this week which the album was released two weeks ago or Four yeah. weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> we're playing April. these songs just slightly differently, or even very differently than you know the way we play them wow. on the album. And the album also has different instrumentation, so it really is this kind of in time snapshot of the music. And that's why it's worth going out to see live music because that's true with pretty much all bands. Yeah, yeah. I would say the other thing is, I think the goal with sort of mainstream music success is that you get on the road and you play the same songs every night and every night. And the way you keep that interesting is by constantly reworking and retooling and finding that thing you could be doing better. Mm -hmm. Or finding that thing that works and leaving it right. the heck alone, yeah. you know? Don't lose that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just knowing when to stop and knowing when to fix things. It's how you don't get bored. Yeah. It's easy to get bored. Mm -hmm. Actually, now I have to yawn. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> about it. That was real. So we're going to play two more songs uh, called, and these are all on the album. Uh, the next song, Poison Oak, uh, you are lead singer in Harmonica. Yes. Yeah. And then Blue Skies. So where can we find you on the web? I have buffalorosemusic.com, but you're on Facebook, Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, Bandcamp, Instagram, but no Twitter. Uh, we have What's Twitter. Up? We're not very active on it. Okay. But perhaps that will change soon. So follow yeah. us anyway. I mean, there, uh, there's a. Uh, you'd rather do Instagram, yeah. yeah. There, Buffalo's music. But there's a plethora of social media, and it's like 
because sometimes it gets confusing, like I do it, and I'm like, at, at times, it's like, well, uh, you know. Find it's, us on LinkedIn. LinkedIn, <laughs> yeah. We should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will be we will LinkedIn. Yeah, right. <laughs> LinkedIn. Okay, so uh, thank you all so much for coming. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, this is sweet, and uh, this uh, I just look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. And I'll see you at Deutschland. Yeah, right on. Yeah. <laughs> we good? Yeah. When I got poison oak at Danny's place, you should have seen the look upon your face. That itch I couldn't scratch made me so. Before it gets better, it's gonna get better. Oh, you say, before it gets better, it's gonna get better. Oh, 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 oh. ain't that just? So